Okay. Okay, everyone. Uh, today is toy management. I said the first, uh, first part because toy management is very huge part of my base New Zealand. Uh, also like the member management. So the two uh, topics are uh, really important and very vague. So we will see today what we can do at, about the toys. So um, first, you can add a new toy in your system. And to add a new toy, you have to click toy and you have add a new toy. In the add a new toy, you have uh, the first, you have to choose the category. You have already adding, added your category uh, in your system and you can choose one of them um, to, to uh, add your toy. Why we choose the toy category before adding a toy? Because everything in my base New Zealand starts from the category. In some cases, depending on your settings, you have the category um, code, the category name in front of your toy ID. In some other case, people decided to have just the numbers and not letter, you don't have it. But everything is connected in my base New Zealand from category. So now we are adding a, a puzzle because I, uh, pick up a puzzle in, uh, in a website. After choosing the category, my base already pick up the last ID in the specific category. I have already entered the 13 uh, puzzles in my, um, in my system, and now there is the 14th one. I will not suggest you to change any of this one, because probably in some cases uh, um, you will jump uh, some numbers and you will probably lose uh, some old numbers. So it's better if you just follow what the system will do it. If for some reason, probably we imported the, the data from other system or there was some mistake, uh, human mistake before, if you see that number too high, and by checking your system, you, you find that it's wrong, just send us an email and we can figure out how to change it. But rather than that, it's, it's better if you follow the instruction. So now you can see there is toy status. The toy status has been added now and it will be released in your system on Sunday. So what you have to do now, you have to, to write a very nice name for the toy. Why I said very nice or descriptive is because there are a few reasons. First, it's easy to you, for you to understand which type of toy you are uh, entering and then uh, which type of toy you are learning. Second, every single toy so you are adding are going public. So are going in your public website, in your member website, and everything will be public. So it's better if you really choose a specific and descriptive name. So because I'm copying from a website that I really love it, and I'm buying a lot of toys from there. So what I'm doing is just copying the description from the Toyco website. So what is this puzzle about? This is a Melissa and out hide and seek. And then we copy and we pass the, the name. This is the original name from the, um, the, the supplier, the, um, the, 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 um, yeah, the supplier, the manufacturer. So it's better obviously to use the original one, but you can also add some other uh, information in the toy name. Remember, because this one is going on the website and your website is also responsive, so people will uh, see the website but with the phone, you, you don't really have to, to add uh, a name so long. So it's better if it's very descriptive, but not like a poem. Huh? Well, otherwise it will be very difficult uh, to look uh, in the public website uh, from uh, a smartphone. 
So after uh, add the name, you now have the status. What is the status for a toy that you are just uh, in, insert in the in the in the web in, in your system? Status can be active directly. I will not suggest you to do it because when you add active, it will straight away go in your public website. So everyone will see it before you even finish to add the information. But after you click save, it's going on the public website. If you add processing, it means your, uh, your toy is active in your administration, but not publicly. So it will not go in any uh, website, public and member. Nothing. Also, a processing toy is not possible to learn. So you are just in the process to add in your system. Uh, a toy library, Papa Moa, just ask me to add the toy status immediately in the first step and not in the second step, because some people be, give, just get busy where uh, they are adding toys because someone come or they have a call or whatever, so they cannot finish and is going straight away in the public website. They don't have time to change the status immediately. So this is the reason we add the status over here. So if you click now process processing and click save, so your toy is already insert, but obviously without any very useful information. So what you can do it, you can start editing the toy or you can upload the toy picture before start editing the toy. This is totally up to you. So I will suggest you edit the new toy. Now, we, have, we are now in the toy editing mode where you can add all information. As many information you add, much better will be your toy um, description and all uh, um, characteristic in your website. So remember, everything you are adding here is for you, for administration but it's for the public so as many information you add as many information you give to the member we are in 21st century we need to have information so people are asking to read everything about toys they are give to the kids so it's really important there are a few features very important first we already choose the category you can choose also subcategories. If you add the subcategories here, and I have also added only Duplo, so you can also have a subcategories. What subcategory can help? How can uh, help a subcategory? Can help uh, you to search uh, the toy, can help a member to search the toy in the public and member website, there is no a drop down box, um, drop down uh, menu in the public member website because no one is using the subcategories. So a next uh, um, update will have also the possibility to have the drop down in the public member website if you have a subcategory. So I will suggest you to use it because have a long list of categories can be nice for you to have more a different categorization, but not for the public website. If the drop down menu is too long, it's okay on the desktop, laptop, or even the tablet. But thinking about mobile, if you have more than 20 categories, how you can scroll with a mobile just to see and, and filter by categories? It's not even possible, really. So it's very hard. So you have always thinking that everything you are adding here, except the member, it's going in your public website. If you have a subcategory and less category, you can have two different menus, but definitely will be shorter. So you can definitely have easier uh, the filter in your website. So in this case, we are not adding the subcategory because we don't know exactly how to add the subcategory yet. So I will add the subcategory later and then probably edit, edit again the toy. Processing is still the status. I will change the status when I add the, 
the image. Age. Which age, uh, which age group is my puzzle? If I'm looking the description in the website, it say three years and up. I have in my list uh, three up. There we go. Condition obviously now is new because we just purchase. Purchase days is today. Date of purchase is today. If you are adding a toy that you already have and you know the date, just go there and change the date. Number of pieces. The puzzle is in one piece. So it doesn't have the pieces because they have doors. So the pieces is just one. But you can also have another, uh, um, another piece that can be the box if you have a bag, box, whatever. So in my case, I will set two. One is the puzzle and another will be the box or the bag. Storage. Where you, uh, where you put your toy? In the box with the lid, cotton bag, um, original packaging, plastic container, zip it. So in my previous experience as a librarian, we had the whole puzzle in zip it bag. Why handy, really? Party pack? Mm, I don't think so. It's not really a party pack uh, toy. Supplier. Toy co. You can add the, just the name, if you remember just the name, or the website, so www.toyco.co.nz. This is up to you. Manufacturer, it's Melissa and Doug. There we go. Donated, no, we pay for that, nothing. Bacteria, no, absolutely, this is just manual. This toy can be reserved, yes. I like to have a reservation for every single toys in my, um, in my toy library. Rent, we have plenty of different type of rent here. If you need one more, I will explain you how to add one more. In my case, we decided that toll puzzle are 50 cents. Cost, how much we pay? Here we go. This one is the cost. So replacement cost, because the cost we pay is not discounted uh, or we had any other uh, type of discount. So the replacement cost for now will be exactly the same. Unfortunately, the replacement cost can change uh, during the years because oh, you cannot find uh, the, this specific toy anymore. So the replacement is pretty much zero because you cannot find. or you can uh, find uh, one similar and you can replace uh, with uh, the new cost. So, so this is up to you to have uh, your database updated. So if you are looking at all your toys, uh, you have to update the replacement cost uh, all the time. The cost never, because as much you pay, that's it, it's finished. Packaging cost and freight cost. These two, not really, not really a lot of toy library using. Packaging cost, it's pretty much nothing. Or if you are adding the storage, like the zip it or the box, you can add the cost of the box. So in this case, you are adding the cost here for the toy and the box. You can also add the cost here for uh, the lid. So if you are printing the bag label and you are also printing plus uh, um, laminating, this, this uh, procedure as a cost, you can add all uh, here. It's totally up to you, but in this case, you will have a precise uh, cost information about every single toy. Because every single toy has a cost of the toy, also the freight or delivery. The freight can be also a delivery cost. When you are uh, buying uh, uh, online, you always, or pretty much always, have a cost for delivery. Of course, if you have buying a toy, you don't really buy just one. You probably buy a bunch of toys, five, 10 of toys. What you can do it, it's just divided the cost of the, the, the um, delivery for each toys. And you can add here, has a freight cost. 
So in this case, this total gives you the specific cost for every single toy. Okay? Now, very important uh, boxes. Description, contains, and comments. Description. Description is something that you can print in the back label, but pretty much it's uh, a very nice description in your public website. A lot of information for a member, a lot of information for Google uh, to reach uh, you in, uh, in search uh, um, in search engine. So everything uh, that you are, the, you are adding here uh, will, be, will go on the public and member website. So be careful of what you are adding. If you are buying online, uh, sometimes it's very easy. You can just copy and paste exactly the description for uh, the, the, the website, very easy. This type of website, uh, a part of the description has other information on the right and has also a, a dot, so list. You can use list two in your public website or you can just add the information by, separate by um, dot or uh, something else. But in this case, we are copying. Come on. Copying. And voila. Then we can see we already add the three sold. Item number is not important. Dimension. This type of information it's very useful when the toy is very big, like a roller coaster, like a table, uh, like the, the kitchen or whatever. For puzzle, not really important. Magnetic puzzle board. Uh, this is more like uh, a, a very short description. Open door, uh, nine uh, doorway. So if we are looking here, probably everything is also descriptive here. But what you have to do is just looking at uh, the description here and what have here and add some other information. But what I was uh, interested uh, sometimes in some toys, promote memory and fine motor skills. This is really good because you can see and you can show your member what is the purpose of the toy. It's not just a toy, it's something else. So in this case, I will copy this one and I will add in the comments. Why are adding, uh, I'm adding in the comments? Because comments as a, a, in the website has also a design different from a description. So as uh, an info box with the blue background. So it's something that someone will look immediately because it's different. So in this case, you can add what is the purpose of the toy. And I'm, I really, um, I'm really thinking that this one is really important, particularly now that every parents are looking on specific toy for specific reason. That's a good idea because at the moment I'm putting it in with the description. I put a space and then put that in, but that's a good idea putting it over there and then it'll be highlighted on the page. Yeah, it's just different color, so it's more uh, predominant in the website, but obviously in the description is also nice. Probably yeah. if we are looking at and reading the description, we'll also describe uh, what is the purpose of the toy. Now, promote memory and fine motor skill. Contains, uh, this is more for you to check when the toy is back, uh, if all pieces are there. And also is for the uh, bag label for members to understand if they lose or not a piece. In our case, that is just a puzzle. We can just add one puzzle and one zip it back. That's it. Normally, the number that you are using here and the number of piece has to match. Not always uh, I found in the database uh, that are matching, but that would be great if they are matching. 
So after that, we have alerts. Alerts uh, oh, and warnings are also two feature uh, very predominant in your public website and member website with different colors. Warnings is normally yellow and alerts is red. So it's something that uh, a member has to read it because it's really important. What can be an alert and warning? Warning can be like, uh, this toy is not for under three years old because it's small pieces. It's not our case. Alerts is, what can be an alert? Um, um, like the roller coaster. So be, um, or the bouncy castle, uh, be sure uh, you are looking your, uh, your kids or other of the features. So something that people uh, has to be worried about in some cases. So all other information here uh, are uh, just for a toy that is more uh, in the future, except the processing time. Never really use uh, this processing time, but you can add how many, minutes or hours you spend to insert the, the toy. I don't see anyone use it, but you can definitely use uh, like one hour and few minutes if you have a processing time. But we have also here other two features really important. Link. Link, what can be? Link can be the the, the website where you find the toy. But remember, website change. Probably this link can change during the year. So it's probably active for a year, six months. I don't think it will be active for more. So if you are adding a link of the website here, it's also going on your public website. So sometimes it's not very good idea to use the, the website where you're buying the toy. Link uh, can also be a, a PDF. If there are uh, building description, you can add uh, the link of your PDF uh, that you can storage uh, in your MyBase um, and give to the member the instruction for uh, building or for uh, assembling instruction. Everything that can be useful. Keywords, oh, very important. What is keywords about is uh, for you to search a toy in the mem in the, in your administration when you don't remember uh, the ID or you don't remember uh, the name. Um, it's for a member or for the public to search uh, in Google or in any other like Bing or Yahoo, any other uh, search engine, your uh, toy, uh, your toy. So what is the keywords about in your case for that toy? One can be just the category, puzzle. The second one can be promote memory. Yes, keywords can be also a, um, not one word, can be different words. Remember that each keywords are separated by, um, what is the name of? It's not dot. So, okay, this one. Comma. Comma, yeah, forgot, sorry. And uh, then can be also motor skill or fine motor skill or something else like motor skills. Then can be also the manufacturer. In this case, yes, because this ki kind of manufacturer is really famous particularly for puzzles. And so I will suggest to use it, but without the E. We are normally not using any special character in the keywords because in some cases uh, it's not easy to, um, to use in a search engine. And also the search engine sometimes use that kind of special character in different way. So I will suggest you to use just normal words. What other else? What type of puzzle is this? It's a farm, okay? This puzzle, uh, has this puzzle sound? I don't think it has a sound, but it's magnetic. 
So we can use magnetic in our keywords. And I think we can also stop because we don't have to use uh, a lot of keywords, just a very important one. We can just add uh, animal. Remember to use uh, always uh, uh, single, uh, singular, not plural, because uh, every time uh, in, the, um, in, in Google or in, in other search engine, uh, singular and plural uh, are normally the same. So if you are searching for something, you are normally searching just for a singular um, name, never for plural. But if you are also searching for plural, it will show up also the singular, not the opposite. So if you are searching for the singular and you add the plural, you will not show up. Strange, but I, I have a lot, of, uh, a lot of example of that. So those are my keywords. If in your website someone uh, will search for uh, promotes memory or in Google will search for a toy uh, promotes memory or anything like that, you, are, uh, you can have a very good chance to show up immediately. Very good chance, not 100%, remember. There are so many other features that a, a, a website need to have to show up in the first page of Google. But if you are starting adding all this information, so very good description, keywords, also some comments and everything else, you, are, uh, you have a very good chance. Okay, now we can see other features here like a block image. What is this block image about? If you take some photos of your toy with kids, for example, because it's for uh, your toy library and you want to just promote your toy library like a dress up. In some cases, uh, the parents are not very happy to have uh, uh, to, to have you to use uh, the, the picture of your, uh, their kids. So in this case, if you say yes, the picture will not go live. So it will be just for your administration. I will definitely suggest you to not use uh, this type of uh, um, feature. I will suggest you to have a photo without any kids, or if they have kids, uh, a generic one like a stock photo and not a real kids uh, of your uh, members this is always up to you so it's how you uh, organize your toy library and uh, doing everything location in some toy libraries um, they decide to have a location for each group of toys for example a bookshelf where they have all the puzzles or <clears throat> sorry, in containers, uh, they have outdoor toys, whatever. So you can add uh, different location and the location will be uh, also public in your website and in the administration. So you can remember if you have a big toy library, where is uh, the specific toy. Can be very handy when the toy is reserved. So a member is not in your toy library, didn't really pick up the toy and then give you the toy to scan for, uh, to loan, but it's reserved and you have to prepare the toys. You don't remember where is the toy, so you have to look everywhere and search for the toy. Particularly when the toy librarian, it's a <clears throat> new one, or someone in the committee is helping, but not very confident where there are all toys. So they have a location. In some cases, uh, all the shelves has also like a paper uh, with the description of the name of the shelf. Red, pink, blue, or baby, or toddler, or ride on, whatever. So you can add the location here, and you can also describe the location inside the toy. <coughs> in member perspective, in the member or public website, they know where they, they have to look uh, in your toy library to search the toy. So they are coming, they know 
they see the toy, just going directly where it's located the toy. So it's something more to have your toy library great organized. So in my case, I don't have anything like a puzzle a bookshelf, so for now I'm not adding anything. Okay? So now that we add everything in our toy, we can save the toy. Now, because we saved the toy and the toy is recorded in our second dynamic menu, you also have a picture on top. If you click picture, the toy is exactly the toy that you are already entered. So, to save the picture, we are going in the website, save the image. Going in our website, choose the file. There we go. Upload. Wait a second. Show me the picture. Hee <laughs> hee. There we go. Now, if I'm clicking the, the toy ID in the dynamic menu, I will see the toy with the old information. You can see the comment is in blue. Green is just uh, tell me that uh, I check it, that that is can be reserved, don't need any bacteria, and all information are over here. Obviously, no history, we just entered. Now, we can see in our website uh, if uh, that toy is public should be not public because we added uh, has a processing yet toy puzzle voila in fact as you can see there is no the puzzle we added so now you are clicking edit toy because the toy is ready active save going here refresh the page yes please Ta -da! my toy is public okay name with the id the category how much is the rent and the age range it obviously is in the library okay so if you are looking now view toy we have all the information here the description and the image is not hmm. you don't like my image so we have all information we added over here we have the description we add here, contains, and every go, our comments. Okay, so the comments has a blue background or different background, that depend of your template, and has the important feature of purpose of the toy. Obviously, this is the public website, member website is exactly the same, so we don't have any difference. The only things that I will show you now in the toy description, we just uh, add, uh, copy and paste the description from the website without really doing any uh, style in the description, like bold, italic, or different colors. I will now show you another uh, toy that I add. Uh, here we go, Sylvan family. Uh, not the other one. This one. So when I add the, the toy description over here, I start to styling a little bit of the toy. So delicious restaurant it's uh, pretty much uh, the the title of the the toy so i just add uh, a different color then uh, i add some uh, important feature with bold and this one 
be, um, before I, uh, I start adding in the comments, I add the good for stimulation images, so the purpose of the toy. So I added in different style, like uh, this is uh, italic. Um, so you can add uh, different style, or you can add uh, in the comments. So everything is up to you. But the description like this one, uh, it's very easy to read. It, it's really pretty compared to the other one we created uh, to just copy and paste the description. Remember, the description can be used in the bag label, but I don't think it will be really important in the bag label. So it's more the contains that are going in the bag label. But the description is public, so it's better if you are start adding more information because a page like that, it's very handy. A page like uh, no description, just a list of pieces uh, and a couple of features here, sometimes oh, even no image. So no one will be very lock uh, the toy or no one will join on your toy library if they don't really think uh, the toys you have are really nice. Obviously, if they are coming in the toy library, they can see you, they can see all toys, uh, so they have a picture in mind. But if they have to choose you just because they are locking your website, uh, there is no way. So it has many information, as many photos, and everything you add here will be public. So you can really have more members. So you can reach more members. Ah, remember that you can click the image to see bigger. I think I have to add some icons here to see that the image can be clicked. So, ah, this one was a warning, like not suitable for under three. So you can see it's uh, uh, yellow. And any question so far now? No? Okay. So we are still in the toy. We all add the new, uh, the new toy. Now we can go in our toy menu and look what we have here in the toy menu. So first, we were looking on the toy categories and subcategories. So when you click toy categories, you have a quite huge page, big page, not huge, with all your toy categories, the number of toy that you have in the category. You can also choose a specific rent for each category and update the rent in all toy in the, in the category. So if you decide one day per another that all puzzle has a rent cost of 50 cents, but you have, let me see how many puzzle I have. I have eight, eight, eight puzzle. Normally toy library has more than 20. So if you have to change the rent of each one, it will cost you quite a lot of time. So in this case, you can change in, 50 cents, say, after that, if you decide that all puzzles that you have, eight, are 50 cents, you can click update. Are you sure you want update? Yes. Okay. Now, all puzzles that you have in your toy library will have 50 cents as a rent cost. We can check toy list puzzle P. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Okay, so all the puzzles now has a 50 cents cost. We can go back on our toy categories. If you have also a party pack modules, you can choose which one or more than one of this category is also party pack. So with this page, you can also look of how many toys you have for in each categories. You also have a chart here for, to see how many um, categories in the how many toys you have in each category. So you can see in both uh, 
table and chart. So the toy category list, in my case, has 22 uh, categories, actually 21, because one is not, it means it's for all inactive toy, it's just a system category, and will not show up in websites, public websites. So we have 21 uh, categories, and it's really too much in some cases for uh, a mobile version. So I would suggest you to start adding the, 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 the subcategories. So if we are adding subcategories, I add Duplo for construction. We can also add Lego still for construction. We can also add uh, uh, for puzzles, uh, we can add the puzzles like uh, mm, plain puzzles uh, or more uh, table puzzles like uh, the, the one we just added or magnetic puzzles. So everything will be a subcategory of puzzles. So all these subcategories can be used in, in uh, all categories. So are not really related of uh, a category specific. So obviously for us, Duplo is just for construction. But if you have another type of construction category, you can use Duplo in that construction too. So it's not related on any specific category. It's just another type of category that you can use in your toy editing. For example, we can add magnetic and magnetic. So in this case, uh, every, every toys uh, that has also magnet or magnetic or anything can, can have a magnetic subcategory. In our case, we added the toy, the, the puzzle that is also, also magnetic. So we can add the puzzle in the subcategory magnetic and it's part of the puzzle category. But another uh, game, for example, so a category game can have also some other magnetic uh, toys. So you can use this subcategory in the one or more uh, categories. So in your public website and member website, next time you will see double drop down, So people can choose a um, category and the subcategory. So the subcategory will show up only if you add it and only when you choose a category. So if you choose the category puzzle and the category puzzle is also magnetic, you will also have a magnetic subcategory. So everything is related. So after the category and subcategory, you also have the ability to copy a toy. So if you have both, for example, two puzzles, same, um, same uh, uh, manufacturer in the same website, uh, so pretty much everything is same except the description and the title, so you can copy the puzzle. So what was uh, P14? There we go. Click. Copy this toy. Ta-da! Uh, add more detail. Now, you have pretty much in another toy, you can see the code is different. You have all information that you already had on the previous uh, puzzle. Now we can go in the here and search for another puzzle. There we go. We found one similar. So this puzzle, it's very similar to the other one. Now we are changing the name. Category is still the same. We can have a magnetic now. Oh, we are also adding, where is processing? It's better. Still the same age, condition, date. Everything is pretty much the same. Zip it. No. Yeah. Reserve it, battery, no, manufacturer. Everything is exactly the same. We see the cost, uh, ooh, exactly the same too. There we go. And now we are just copying the description that it's 
quite different. Come on. Ah. There we go. Short description in the case. There we go. Exception quality and value. Children, children in magazine issue. Okay, this one can be our comments. There we go. Puzzle and zip it, blah, blah, blah. Keywords. Uh, we can probably have again promote memory. I don't think so. Farm, no. Animals, no. What was about? Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not very specific uh, on anything. Mm -mm -mm. Magnetic piece. Ah, I think the keywords we already, we already choose, it's okay. You can also add more uh, if you are thinking. So after that, we can just save the toy and uh, you spend uh, pretty much half time to add a new toy because it's pretty much the same of the first one that you added. So if you are buying more toys, uh, sometimes a few of them are very similar. So you can copy a toy and save times. Okay, now, in the Toy again, you also have a toy on loan, so just the list of toys that you have on loan. Then uh, I will also show you in the toy list uh, that now, for example, the, the, the toy that I previously added uh, was uh, processing, but the one we just added uh, before is not processing because we change. Uh, the, um, the status uh, was 14, I think. There we go. So the 14 is in library, so it means it's active because we changed the process. But the one we, uh, we just copy, we change it in processing. So you can see there is still some toys that you have to finish to editing. So in this case, uh, you can definitely look at uh, some on loan, some in library, and some in processing. Okay? So in toy, we also have age group, rent group, suppliers, storage, and condition. So all these uh, um, features are important uh, to proceed when you edit or you add the toy. I already populate uh, most of them with a lot of different, uh, um, a lot of different uh, items, but you can change or add every time. Age group, it's really important because if I am a mother of a three years old daughter, and it's real, I'm looking for toys for her age. Definitely, I'm not looking for a baby toy or not looking for any toy that is up to six because it's not really the correct toy for her. So it's important that you add the correct age of each toy. In some cases, it's very easy. You just copy like we did from a website where you bought the toy. In some other cases, in the shop, you can just lock the box and 90% of the time you have the age group on the toy, pretty much 100% now. In uh, old toy or some donated toy, haha, no idea. So you can search online, you can ask other toy library if they already have it, uh, or you can have just uh, an idea. But if you find that that toy um, that you add an age group. It's really not for that age group that you have to change. I would suggest you to always change and find the correct age group. So uh, like any other, uh, um, any other page in my base New Zealand, you have a table, there, there are a number of toys for each age, and you have also the chart. 
it's really important to look at the number of toys because in some cases uh, you can decide for example zero to three just one uh, to increase the number so you don't have a very big number of toys for babies are you thinking of more people will come if you're adding uh, a baby toy probably how you know who will come uh, with this age first actual member already have uh, some uh, kids uh, older they are pregnant uh, so you can say oh you are expecting fantastic uh, we are just buying a new toy for babies so you keep interesting uh, of the member new member first child how you know that someone is pregnant or uh, will have uh, a number of babies uh, in your area a uh, blanket can be an idea they have a courses for pregnant women and some of these courses are followed from people like i did just knew knew of the city knew about uh, have a baby knew of everything also because they probably have no idea about babies they also have no idea about toy libraries and in fact, it was my case. I've been a toy librarian after I had a baby just because of someone in my group would tell me about the toy library. So you can organize with the planket to have a session like 10 minutes just to explore the toy library of this new woman. Knew about have a baby and knew about uh, the situation to have a new toy library. And just hiding a toy if you have that kind of group of toys. If you have, just go and start talking with the planket. So it's a good idea to start looking of your age group for more future purpose. And also when you are buying a new toy, you have to thinking what your member and which age of kids you have in your toy library already how you can how you can understand if you keep recording in the member children list if you keep recording all birthday you already know which kind of age you have in your toy library so you have uh, five years old two three four so you can have a list uh, you have just two that are uh, babies a lot of one year old so you know that next year you need a specific toy for that specific age if you have it or you are adding you can promote your toy library to your actual member and said look your kids are growing but we are buying a new toy for your age everything is about marketing everything but you can do it only if you have all data so start asking your member, start recording everything because my base give you the ability to look everything and choose what is better for your toy library. Now we are going back in toy, a part of the important group of age, we have the rent group. So before editing or add a new toy, you have to uh, add all the rent group of your hiring if you have hiring cost you have to add the all type of group that you are using name free yellow blue is just an idea so you can add everything you like it's just easy to remember in some cases there are toy library that use like a, a dot or stickers in the toy to remember which type of the cost was uh, the rent. So in this case, I just copying the idea in the system. Um, like always, you can edit, delete, and lock the chart over here to understand the, the situation of numbers. So again, toy, suppliers. This page is not really related to anything else. It's just for you to remember where you are buying your toys in fact uh, i had i had the uh, toy co that i'm buying pretty much every time and you can add all your uh, supplier 
why you need this page? First, uh, remember you are volunteer. Uh, remember that uh, people in the toy library change all the time. If they have to buy new toy and no one really tell them anything and all, mem all committee members just left, uh, they have no idea. They were just searching online, so they will waste a lot of time. If they are just looking the page and it's very detailed and complete page, they also know, for example, if they have a specific discount, so they can just use like a, a, an email, send an email, I am the new committee member of the toy library, blah, blah. I know we are your client, you give us this percent, it's still active. We can do it, how we can do it, there we go, easy. So if you have that detailed information for new committee members, so for you to remember where you bought the toy, it will be much easier. So a very simple page, you can always edit, delete, and add new, like all others in my base New Zealand. So again, toy, there we go. We also have storage, so how you storage your toys condition of your toys. When you are doing a stock take, you probably change the condition of the toy from new to very good, fair, whatever. So condition has already the list of all, but you can still add the new one or change new one. Also, because there is a number always in the table or there is a chart or both, you can have an idea if you have, oh, we have a lot of new toys. Oh, we have a lot of excellent. Oops, we have three broken. I think we have to check. So you can check which one is broken and probably replace, sell, fix it, whatever. So you always have numbers to see condition of your toys. Obviously, like all others, if you are updating your database correctly all the time. Stock take, it's a good time to check condition of the toy and update it. So in this case, after the stock take, you have a very great idea of your situation. And you can decide if everything broken or poor or very poor need to be just replaced. Also, you can have need bag label, need improvements like uh, too many missing pieces, we need to probably mix some toys together or whatever. So you have all the information or condition here. Okay. All this stuff I think we can look in another webinar. Just want to show you the not active toy as only the list of toys that you already damage, withdraw, or uh, this one is also processing, is also here because it's still no active toy until uh, uh, you will change uh, in uh, active. But you also can see the, the, um, the processing uh, um, in the, your active toy. So here there are all toys that you don't really have in your toy library anymore. And specific, if you, are, if you are adding stolen, you can also remember which one you don't have for a specific reason, unfortunately. And uh, that's it. In some cases, when you add damage or broken or missing, you probably fixed the toy or you found the toy or someone just give you back you can always edit the toy and change the status. Never happened before, but can be. <laughs> so you are still able to edit again the toy and have your toy back. Okay, I think for today is enough. Any question? Any suggestion? Any more functionality that you looking for? Oh, nothing. No, don't think so. Okay, 
Are you using all the features that I show you today? Just started working on the subcategories. Great. Good ideas there. And um, yeah, I've just been putting more description in it because ours is quite an old uh, one that changed over. So we were very basic. So I've been doing exactly that, Googling the toy, finding something. Yeah. Packing it as a description. It's definitely the easy way. But yeah. also another easy way is to copy the description from other toy library. Yeah, so that some of their photos come up and I go, right, I've got one. Yes. <laughs> so toy or toy are always the same. So yeah. it's not really different. But the description sometimes uh, are very, very short. You probably have to add more uh, from yourself. So yeah. directly. Yeah, uh, hopping no, from the website is a great idea because always uh, will be correct. But you can also add your own one. Yeah. If no, you like good. to write. So, any other question? No, really. Okay. So, uh, do you want to look at anything else about toy or we can... Uh, Yeah. Yep, no. It's probably going to be covered next time. Probably just the missing parts or. Um, yeah. So, uh, missing parts. I'm not showing you now the missing parts because we have the developing the new missing parts features. Cool. So, don't worry about that just yet. So, that yep. was the reason. I'm doing a mixture of checking under alerts and doing it my old way and putting a sticker on it. And doing so. so, I'm doing a wee mixture of of things at the moment, just depending on how busy I am at the time. Mm. I find it quite hard just to look at it and when they're telling me, oh, this is missing that, and I go, yep, cool. And then I sort of go, oh, I'm not sure where I'm putting this now. And or, you know, so I'm just still fiddling around with that yet when I have someone physically in front of me, uh, how quick and where I can to put show it. You, I can show you how to record the missing parts, but from Sunday will be slightly different. No oh, yeah, no, I'll wait for the update, then I don't confuse myself. Okay. <laughs> So, Please. yeah, we are changing because it was one of the features very old uh, in our system. Yep. And uh, after I had a couple of conversations with a couple of toy library, they decide, we decided that it was still uh, the old one, uh, but not very useful anymore in that, uh, in that way. So we're just changing. Lovely. Sounds good. But more easy and faster to add. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait for that. <laughs> cool. Sunday night. Thank you. Okay. See you next time. Next Thank webinar you. is on Monday. Okay. Just Should Monday. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.